I don't think you're ready for this one. This one's going to be absolutely dope. So let me just give a brief introduction. My name is Anthony Allen. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your media editing, whether it be a picture or video. I will teach you how to get ahead of the curb and tell the story that you want to tell in the way that you want to tell them. And here in this video, I'm about to reveal one of the applications that I always use, especially when I'm recording my screen screen and that application is not OBS it's a free software called Monosnap So Monosnap is available for Macs and Windows users and it's completely 100% free to use and download. There is a paid version of the application but it's not needed especially for those of you who just want to record your screen and have a webcam in the corner and give an input as to what sound sources you want to record within your screen recording. For example if you wanted an external microphone uh, used within the recording you can do that with the software if you want to record your webcam at the same time when you are recording your screen you can do that as well if you want your clicks to be highlighted you can do that as well you can change the size of the webcam and where it's placed on the screen it's a very very useful application and I use it throughout many of my videos here on YouTube and I just thought I'd let you guys know about the software and show you where you can download it and also showcase the software firsthand so you can see how it works. So without further ado the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where you can download this software. Okay so here is where you find the Mac version of the software obviously within the App Store. So here on the App Store you can see the ratings and you can also see uh, what other people think of the software uh, as you can see somebody loved it there you can see the size it's so small of an application it won't take up any space whatsoever um, you just simply go into your app store and you can search this and you can find the application with ease it updates as well so any bugs that you have with the software they are regularly fixed you can see that this is three months ago so there, was, there haven't been any issues with the application i haven't had any issues with it i absolutely love the software uh, this is where you can find it on the app store and this is the icon that you're looking for now let's have a look over at the website version for those of you who are on windows so as you can see it's just enabling cookies but as you can see it is available for xp and higher and also windows 8 and higher and then there is a chrome extension for those of you who have chrome installed and may not have these operating systems but it's as easy as just literally getting on the website and then hitting download for the application and getting started with it so now that i've shown you where you can download the application i'm also going to show you how the application like works i'm going to show you the basic of the application in action so the thing that i do is i go to my launch pad and i then look for monosnap which i found here i click monosnap and what this basically does, it brings up the icon up at the tabs, at the top uh, toolbar here. And I'm just going to click on that application. And as you can see, I've got a few options already. I've got a few options. I've got a capture area, which is for a screenshot. You've got capture full screen, which is for a full screen screenshot. If you don't want to have to drag the area that you want to screenshot. Then you've got record video, open, op open last image, monostap storage, preferences, co contact support, and quit. Now your preferences, they're worth going through if you have specific preferences when you're recording, uh, if you don't want it to go in a certain place or if you want shortcuts or that sort of stuff. It doesn't really, doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, you have your monostap storage, I use the desktop so I like it to uh, export to the desktop. And then I've got open last image, uh, obviously with the last image that you've uh, um, taken, if you can't find it you can always just come back to this tab here and click this. You've got open which is basically look for you can look for a file that you want to open using monosnap and you've got record video so let's let's show you what this looks like so it's already brought up a window you can see my webcam now so here's my webcam which has been enabled you can literally drag this and move this to where you would like um, this is me right now as I'm talking as you can see um, you can move this around you can click the middle of the box you can move it to wherever you'd like it's brilliant or you can get rid of it completely. So you can go up to the settings in the top left area uh, corner and you can click that. This will then bring up my settings of my recording. So you can see that I've got web camera enabled. Now I have a built-in web camera on my uh, Mac MacBook that I'm using. I'm actually gonna click this off do not, and tell it 
to not record my webcam. That should disappear, you can see it's disappeared now. Then you've got the audio inputs that I'm using at the moment. So I'm using two audio inputs. I'm using an I show you audio capture, which enables me basically on a Mac to uh, record the sound of what my desktop is, is outputting. And then I've got my Blue Snowball microphone, which is recording my voice at the same time as the audio output of my device. Um, so you can turn these on and off as well and you can tweak these, you can pick different different sources as my MacBook is connected to my TV as well. Um, then you can do things with the mouse, so you can get the mouse cursor to disappear, so obviously when I'm recording at the moment the mouse will appear on screen and you can actually uh, capture the clicks or enable not to capture the clicks. When you're capturing the clicks, as you've seen through some of my videos, when I click something, there is a circle that appears to let you know that it's being clicked. A beautiful thing about the software as well is you can change the frame rate per second. You can click the different frame rates here, take it down a notch or take it all the way up into 60 frames per second. Absolutely beautiful. And then you have the quality of the recording, which is basically a simplified explanation of the quality recording you've got low quality medium quality high quality and photo recording quality i like to use photo recording quality so i've just clicked record now um this is now recording a second version uh, uh, of my screen as i'm already recording my screen to show you this um the audio and the image that i'm giving to you now is not from mono snap it's just i'm basically just recording my screen in a different way to show you how mono snap works but as you can see, there's an icon that has appeared here, uh, which is in the way of our recording. Uh, this will appear on your recording as well. To get rid of this, what you do is you drag it to the edge of the screen until it's outside of the red box. And now that, well, <laughs> it tries to pop back every now and then if you drag it too hard. But as you can see, it's now got rid of that. So that will not be in the recording area of your recording. Now, once you've finished recording, I'm gonna click finish. Oh, yeah, before we actually finish, you can actually pause your recording. So if you've got something else that you need to do while you're recording, just hit pause. And that's pause the recording just there. So everything that I'm saying right now is not a part of the recording screencast uh, that I'm doing with Monosnap. To enable the screencast again and resume, you literally just click resume. As you can see, the red box has now appeared again, telling you that you are now recording this area. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to finish the recording. Boom, and it's already opened up a preview window where you can watch your recording back. I'm gonna hit that. And as you can see now, it's showing me my recording beginning from the moment I press record and when I've got rid of this box here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna scroll forward and you're gonna see when the box disappears as I got rid of it out of the recording area. There it is, it isn't on the screen. You can actually save this when you're ready in an mp4 or a gif i prefer mp4 to be honest <laughs> and then you can hit save with this title that's above you can change the title to what you wish i've just given an example and you can hit save and then you just literally pick the destination of where you would like to save this i'm not going to do this uh, you can you can do this when you get started with the application what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you one more thing i'm going to hit record again and before I've set these settings here, you can actually move the box and area that you're recording uh, if you would like to record a specific part of your screen. So there we have it, that is Mono Snap. It's definitely well worth a download, especially if you're new to recording your screen and you want to really have that high quality without having to go through different types of settings, codexes and so forth. You can just literally just click and go. You can click the frame rate, change the frame rate, click and enable and, and disable a webcam and even change the sound sources in what you use or just make your mouse invisible. All these things can be done with Mono Snap with ease, which is why I love the software so much. So if this video has helped you, definitely give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well, guys, because I upload here on this YouTube channel every single day and you don't want to miss 
miss anything because I give up some absolutely amazing gems and knowledge that will really help you with your video or media career. Especially if you're on YouTube and you want to showcase something on screen, this is absolutely ideal. So I'd love to see you in the next video here on my YouTube channel. I upload every single day. Do not miss an upload and hit the notification bell and I'll see you here on my channel, Anthony Allen Edits. Thank you.